Hi guys, this is Michelle with Angel Souls, and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning March 24th, 2014. Hi guys, I'm going to use the uh, Flower Therapy deck again this week by uh, Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. So let me just take a second here. I really want to tune in. It's going to be a transitional week. Yeah, they're showing me like week by week, you're just changing just a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more. So don't be surprised if we get kind of these same sort of messages over the coming weeks. We've been getting these kinds of messages for a while now, but it's all just building up to something really wonderful. And that is something that we really want to keep in mind, especially as we go into April. You know, there, there's probably going to be a lot of negative news. There's going to be a lot, a lot of negative uh, just feelings, just tension. Don't give in to it, all right? Rise above and see the wisdom in it. See that this is imperative to our growth. This is imperative to the shift of the planet. And it's actually going to be a blessing in the end. So just roll with it. Remember you're loved by the angels and they're there to help you. I had three cards jump right out in my hands. So <laughs> let me put the deck down here. The first card is be positive. It says your thoughts can shape your experience. So be sure to focus on the positive. This is just what we were talking about not giving into the negative because what's going to happen if you start really watching the news and the news becomes your god you know you're going to start worrying you're going to worry about money you're going to worry about your house you're going to worry about whatever the heck's going on or whatever governments are going to be trying to make us believe okay um let it go remember it's it's okay they're, they're showing me someone getting out into nature sort of shutting off the tv and walking outside and looking around and going oh kind of nice out here. <laughs> I've been so wound up in everything else that I forgot to take a look at what's here, what's right in front of my face. And remember, getting into nature too is very detoxifying. It could be another reason why I was drawn to this deck this week, okay? So um, Ariel is coming in. Of course she does whenever we're talking about nature. She's all about material abundance too, so let me just tune in. Enjoy the beauty. Nature is artwork. Okay, this to me is a real call for everyone in order to remain positive. It's easy for us to shoot it at you and be like, don't let negativity get to you, but how? <laughs> how? All right, we, we preach about detoxifying the cord cutting and all of that, getting into nature, but it's really going to be important for you. This week, again, is kind of um, the prep going into April. Um, yeah, she's, she's showing me like, turn it off. Turn everything off. Get away from all your electronics in the coming week if you can and go out and have fun. Laugh, okay? That's what you need to do this week in order to stay positive. Laugh. When work is getting out of control, put it aside. Put in a funny movie that's not violent. You know, there are some out there that are like that. They're, they're supposed to be comedies, but then they have like a violent moment or something like that. Try to stay away from that. But um, just do something that you really enjoy, that's really meditative. And um, whether that's drawing, writing, gardening, golfing, you know, whatever your thing is, get out there and do it and remain positive. Keep your energy clear, all right? Chakra clearing is the next card. Remember, these jumped out into my hand, so... <laughs> I'm not sure if this came up last week or not, but um, it says, by clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. Now, chakra clearing is not something that you do once and then you're like, oh, you know, here we go. <laughs> Here's all the divine wisdom flowing right into me. You got to practice it, okay? You got to practice it like you got to practice yoga, like you got to take care of your physical vessel, okay? So... Oh, and they're wanting me to talk more about that too. So this is about chakra clearing through meditation. And um, yeah, don't fight it and, and don't make excuses. Do it. <laughs> if this keeps coming up, this is because this is going to help you stay positive. This is going to help you see the wisdom. And also meditation opens you so that you aren't missing the messages from your angels. Okay. They're also wanting me to talk about the physical body. It's important that we get up and start moving, okay? Now, we are in transitional seasons right now here in the Northern Hemisphere. It's springtime, Southern Hemisphere, it's autumn, but 
it's still beautiful, beautiful. So get out and enjoy. Enjoy how nature is sort of making its own shift. Get your body moving. Why? Because toxicity builds up in the tissues of your body. And when you move the energy of your body, it moves and clears out the energy in your aura. Okay. So it's important to be doing that too. Get out and get some fresh air. <laughs> Give yourself permission to do that. Okay. This is, this is taking care of yourself. This is extreme self care. All right. And it's time to really take that seriously, guys. Make sure you're doing it this week. Okay. Your wishes are coming true is the next card. And it says your heart has been longing. No, let me try that again. What your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. I've said this before. When you get up in the morning, you want to thank God for another day and another day full of miracles. Okay. And if you have a wish in your heart that isn't exactly here yet, get up and thank God every day for being one day closer to the miracle. Okay. Here it is. You're going to be seeing the things that you wanted happening. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there, <laughs> who is that? Is that Q? Sad kill always pops in. This is so funny. Um, he's saying that a lot of the wishes will be coming in a better way than you expected. Okay. So what does that mean? You'll get maybe an offer. Maybe you were going for a job, like a director position, and then you realize they had you more in mind for a VP position or, you know, some turn of events that's good for someone. They're transitioning and they're, you know, um, becoming who they really are meant to be. Uh, for those of you who are on Facebook, you know that I was visited this past week by Azrael and um, had a very transformational experience with Azrael. And it was weird to be working with him one-on-one. -on -one. Usually he comes in with the other angels to do some sort of thing during meditation, but it was just him. So that was pretty profound and I woke up feeling like a different person. So this is something like you guys might be feeling in, in the coming week. They keep saying the wishes are going to be coming in a way that maybe you didn't expect, but it's better. It's better. So let's say, I'll just use this as an example. If you've been wanting your soulmate, well, maybe your soulmate is actually a twin flame that comes. Or um, you wanted a small bit role in, in a commercial, and then they make you the star of the commercial. These kinds of things, okay? Now, you can't get into a sense of entitlement. That's negative. So watch what you guys are doing. And certainly as things sort of start happening for you, you don't want to get a big head about it, okay? They are kind of saying that too. Temper your energy, make sure you're staying in that positive flow and be grateful and have gratitude for all the things that are happening for you, okay? We have one more card. This one did not jump, I just pulled it out. Time to decide. This is crystal clear intentions, right? So yeah, okay. <laughs> They're saying it in a nice way, but I'm going to put it the way that I normally would. If you're out there whining, oh my gosh, my life, da 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 Okay. Well, why aren't your wishes coming true? You're blocking them. Okay? And I can say that with the utmost authority because I had that realization this past week with my big profound experience. And I was like, oh, oh shoot, I've been blocking all the stuff I wanted. <laughs> and now this coming week, I think that's going to happen for a lot of you as well. Now the card actually says, make a decision now so you can move forward. All right. You can be sitting there saying you want love, you want love, you want love. But are you in the vibration for love or are you too stressed? Do you work too much? Are you not taking care of your physical body? Right. And taking care of your physical body. That's not like, oh, I have to be thin and beautiful and in shape. So someone will be attracted to me. That's not what we're talking about. OK, when you love yourself and you're taking care of your soul's temple, now you're in a higher vibration, you're a vibrational match, and you're showing the universe that you are open and ready for a partner to come in, okay? Again, negativity blocks progress too. They're saying that. We have to talk a little bit about love this week, because I think that's on deck for a lot of people. Okay. Sorry, this is probably a message just for a small few. Uh, some of you are waiting for a proposal and they're saying that your energy is actually pushing that out and pushing that out and pushing that out because you're chasing it or you're putting pressure on someone to marry you or, or whatever. So be mindful of that. That's a little uncomfortable to give that message. Let me just tune in here. 
Okay, they're showing me, this is a beautiful image. Let me see if I can articulate it. Things are sort of cracking and, and they're falling away. Okay, so we've talked about that before. But what, what we're cracking away is old conditioning. Okay, men, it's okay for you to cry. <laughs> it's okay for you to have emotions. It's healthy for you to have emotions. And it's okay for you to want a soulmate. See, that's not, you know, in a lot of cultures, that's not the conditioning, is it? The man is supposed to be in charge. The man is supposed to always know what's going on. The man is supposed to take care of everybody financially or what have you. And there's this icky thing where men are supposed to want to sleep with as many women or you know, sleep around in general as much as they can because that makes them a man. It's time for your relief, okay? You no longer have to give over to that. Ladies, same kind of thing. You know the kinds of conditioning we go through. We're not supposed to be the boss. We're not supposed to, or if we are the boss, we're not as respected as the male boss because, you know, <laughs> whatever they say, we're, we're trying too hard or um, we're not demure enough when we're in those kinds of roles. So this is going to be a week too where you're going to see and feel. This is kind of very individual this week. I, I feel like April's going to be kind of everyone, sort of the whole, going through something together. But this coming week, this kind of week bringing us out of uh, out of March, yeah, it's going to be a moment of what am I going to accept anymore and what am I not going to accept? You know, this is people walking away from situations where they felt pressured, okay? Uh, someone else defined me and therefore I took this job. It's not really what I love to do, but someone told me I was good at it one time and I went for it. And yeah, it comes easily to me, but it's not my heart's desires. That heart's desire. So this is, this is what we're going to be up against in this coming week. So just roll with it. Stay positive, okay? Extreme self-care. Get moving. Get fresh air. Clear your chakras. What was the other one? Oh, your wishes are coming true. How could I forget that? <laughs> but do not block the progress, people. Don't do it, all right? You even having the thought of, I'm waiting on my wishes. Where are they? The wish truck is going to go right by your house. Be like, okay, well, when you figure that out, when you become happy with who you are and exactly where you are in your life and you see it as a blessing, we'll come with your wishes, okay? <laughs> so just bear that in mind. And it doesn't matter how bad your life is going right now, okay? There is a miracle in healing. There is a miracle in experience. Think of it that way. Have gratitude for it. And know that everything is happening exactly as it needs to. So it with me now. And in divine timing, right? So I think that's it. Let me just tune in here, see if there's... They kind of get quiet. <laughs> Have fun this week. Make sure you're laughing. Make sure you're, you're out in nature again. Detoxify, detoxify, detoxify. Get ready for your wishes coming in, okay? And we'll end it there. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah.